Hello everybody and welcome back to Silence Plays Starbound. We're going to be doing a little bit of an experimental episode today, which is really just plain and simply put. I accidentally died and lost a couple of pixels here, by the way, because apparently that thing that I had eaten before that killed like all of my added all of those debuffs and stuff, I wasn't taking damage because I was on the ship. As soon as I went down and beamed down to my home planet, then all hell broke loose. Oh, coffee. Anyway, so, what we're going to be doing is, as I had said in the last episode, going to a moon planet and then probably going off to a sea planet. I believe that was everything that we needed to do. I'm going to check everything at the house to make sure that we get all the shit that we need. I don't know if I should progress further or build more things or whatever the case is, but I also want to get more rice to be able to get our power and unlock the powers of the Kyubi, which uh, I don't know what that is just as much as a lot of people might not know what that is. It's part of a mod. But let's do that as well, so that we can actually step up to the top part of our ship. I would like to be able to upgrade our ship further as well, if at all possible. But I believe we are on a moon planet. We should be right now. I, I Yeah, we are. I just went there a minute ago. And when I say that this is going to be an experimental recording, ladies and gentlemen, I mean that in the most literal of senses, mind you. We are using a slightly different version of OBS than I typically use, which is the OBS multi-platform version. And the reason we're using that is because with this version of, um, I can't see anything, like, at all. That's not very useful. Uh, where's my flashlight? There it is. So, why that is important that we are using multi-platform rather than the usual version that I use is because... In uh, OBS multi-platform, it allows us, or at least there's a certain setting that allows me to be able to record the game with um, by expanding the file size, essentially, but letting me use less of my processor in the process, which... All you need to know, if you guys are not familiar with quality, bitrate, etc., all of that kind of fun lingo when it comes to creating videos, it essentially means that I will be able to record at a higher quality. I'm going to die. I'm going to straight up die. Yeah, that was a straight fall to hell. I got so wrapped up in the conversation there that I almost got myself murdered. Cool. We're going to an amazing start already, but hey, I'm not dead yet. So, I should probably wait until my oxygen's back up. And then I can continue that thought that I just had. So, yeah, it's exactly like I said right there. It will eventually, it'll allow me to be able to record at higher quality. So right now, we are actually recording in 1600 by 900p right now, or just 900p. I could do a 1080p recording, but for the extra CPU usage that I was getting recording in 1080p, it just didn't seem worth it. So I'm going to probably try doing this with the Lobotomy Corporation videos and convert them to 1080p, if at all possible, without killing our own performance of the game. And it does kill my performance of this game when I record in 900p or 1080p, believe me. It doesn't do it, though, unless I am sitting at home. When I'm on that moon planet and there's not anything going around, then it seems to be pretty stable. Which is why I want to test this out and see how it works later on down the line. So I don't know how it's going to perform when I am in dungeons and other things are going on, or when I am in other instances... I don't know yet, and that's what we're here to find out. But as it goes right now, at least for mining on the moon and all of that fun shit, it seems acceptable. Okay. So far, so good. Alright, cool. I actually managed to get down all of that shit without instantaneously dying. 
that is good. That is always a plus side to me, because I seem to always find a way to plummet to my death. Or hit a stalactite. I think that is a stalagmite, by proper terminology. I believe those are the ones on the floor. Barry, edit that in. Alright. So let's get our asses through here and find a nice pool of delicious fuel juice. Ah, God, yeah, those are stalactites. Okay, we're gonna go in there. I think this is Tenebrium. Am I not snaking about that one? Yes. Good. I know my terms! I haven't completely forgotten the ores in this game. That's good. Though, I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda getting a little bit on the antsy side right now. I, I don't want to die of uh, lack of oxygen. I also would like to be able to get up to that body of water right here. Oh, God. Uh, this is bad. I am going to drown. I don't even have space for it right now. Fuck! God damn it. All right, you need to get out of here. There we go. All right, cool. Thank you. Give me the fuel, please. I need all the fuel I can get. All right, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. Now, did I put a container next to where all of my fuel goes, or did I just never bother caring? I don't think I bothered caring. We're also getting rid of the junk tech. Yeah, I have a lot of things on me that I would prefer not to lose. As you've seen right there, I clearly lost it at some point in this recording, which I think was when I died. By, uh, yeah, that, that explains it. Yes, I absolutely, of course I died to drop it all, Christian. Good lord. That's when I, um, Foxy Poo. Hello. It was when I died from poison from whatever the fuck I ate in the last episode. I think this guy comes up from- Yeah, behind me! Underneath me, rather. Okay. Nope. And on that note, we get the fuck out of here. So now we just need our C planet. Is that not how we how we roll here? Yeah, actually, we're already here with the C planet. I don't know why everything shakes like that, but it kind of pisses me off. Or did we already go to the C planet? Wait, where is this? Wait a minute. If I was already on an ocean planet... Oh, because I was on a binary star with an oceanic. Yeah. Did we complete the quest? I don't think that we did. Well, we didn't, we most certainly didn't complete the quest, I know that one for a fact, but did we ever explore the ocean planet? No, because I think the last thing that we did, right, I think the last thing that we did was we made all of that poison to be able to create shit. I feel like I needed to go to another planet, though, for something, and I don't remember what. Yeah, there it, there it goes. Every time that it's raining. Every single time that it's raining, which seems to be everywhere that I go all the time. I wanted to make a base over the sea. That's what I also wanted to do at one point. Okay, my theory was correct. We immediately skipped this area and then moved on to bigger and better things. In other words, a space base. I went into the mech and then that was where all of that shit went from where I couldn't steal the rice and yeah. So that being said, I have pop-top eggs. Nice. I'm also dying of hunger and starvation. Luckily, we have almost rotten turkey. pineapples 
Okay, let's go ahead and see what's at the bottom of this ocean. Still doesn't make me feel any better than the first day that I did this. Still doesn't make me feel any better than the first time I did this. Still doesn't make me feel any better, man. Holy hell, holy hell. That was a long fucking way down. Oh, it just fills it right back up. There's no way to refill your fucking oxygen, though. How the hell are you supposed to... What? I don't understand how you're supposed to find anything hylodal, then, if that's the case. If you can't refill your oxygen when you're down at the bottom of the fucking ocean. Actually, you can. I gotta be kinda quick about this. There we go. Oh, fucking scorpion just bit my ass. Could you don't, sir? There is kelp at the bottom of the ocean that I probably should grab when I can. If there's still a quest involving it, that is. Oh, hello. I think I found it. I think this is a high lotl. Yep. All right, cool. We're in fucking luck, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time in my goddamn life, we are really lucky. I am definitely building a base here. Oh yeah, I am definitely building a base here. I think these are all things I wanted to sell. Yep. I feel like there's music playing right now and I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, it's above me. Gotcha. Oh, I know what that is. I had it in my old house that I made a while ago. The exact thing that's making all of that noise. I just want to make sure that I scan all of the delicious things here. I can go ahead and fucking jump cut that shit, but... House building is the thing that I take very importantly, and considering that I am a Japanese fox, it would make sense to have access to, you know, Japanese things. It's so nice. So much shit. I like it. I'm very happy about our find today. I can't tell. Are you male or female? I can't open this door for some reason. It lagged out. So, I think you are actually female. One quantum fluid. I don't know what a quantum fluid is. Time to hit the Google! 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my sources tell me that getting quantum fluid is just not going to be a thing that is going to happen for a long time. We gotta clear the fucking storyline pretty much for that, so... That being said, let's go ahead and hit the waypoint. My frame rate might be absolute ass. Oh, wow. There we go. Never mind. It was just a lag at the beginning of it. That's that's acceptable. So if I have the money, I can essentially just get my Kestrel license right at the get-go. I may literally consider just farming for it, to be honest with you. So if I can keep getting things like the money bags, trousers like that, then that's just instantaneous fucking one grand. This, weirdly enough, the waypoint runs better than other places. I'm going to blame Starbound for my actual performance issues whenever that I'm recording this game. This game just doesn't like being recorded for some reason, and I don't know why. Uh, yeah, the High Lottle Artifact is cloistered deep beneath the ocean in a place called the Grand Pagoda Library. So. That is our next place, the Grand Pagoda Library. I have been here before, and then I think I've been to... No, I've been to two areas after that. So I think the next one is the birds, the avians. Where you learn about the Kluics and all of that other fun stuff, and then... After that, that's really about all that I have been through. I don't think I ever actually succeeded in clearing the one after that, which I think is the Apex. Why am I going here? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go back to the house. And take a look at some things there, and then probably call at the end of the episode there. Because there's not really a whole lot more that I can add on here, and I don't feel like going more towards the 20 minute mark if we've done all of that shit, which wasn't really a lot, but... We need some tunes. Fuck it. Honor and death. There we go. Okay, no matter, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cut the episode here, and on the next part, what we're actually going to do is... I need a lot of space. Eventually, I'm going to need a lot of space for farming, for making different things, and just a bunch of stations for crafting as a whole. We do not have enough space in the house currently right now for what I am going to need later on down the line. So in the next part, I think we're going to do the Pagoda Library, and then in an offline session, I'm going to build... Uh, what time is it right now? Two o'clock? I'll check my phone, and then we'll go back into that one. I accidentally flew off the cliff right there. All right. So we'll do that, and I'll expand the house, and do a bunch of jump cuts like last time when I was expanding the house, and we'll go from there. So take it easy, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next part.